my top three underrated DJs just overall, like, I'm into so many different kind of genres of music. One of them is David Rodigan from the UK. Um, he's probably my favorite DJ of all time, just because I'm, 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 I'm a regular dance hall head. But for, you know, for a cat like that to be his age, he's like, I think he's almost 65 or almost 70. And he's still battling cats, still sound clashing the young, the young DJs out there just by, you know, what he has, dub plates and all that stuff. I think it's amazing, you know? Another guy I really like is uh, DJ EZ. EZ to us, but EZ to, I guess, to, to the Europeans. He's one of the, like, one of the, I guess one of the forefathers from uh, the garage scene out in the UK. I mean, the way, you know, he does, um, I'm sure he used to rock tables back in the days, but if you watch any of his ballroom sets, like, he rocks like a, you know, he'll rock CDJs like I've never seen anybody rock them. And, and like, you know, you can tell the way he DJs, he definitely has some kind of like a, Scratch background, yeah. If you ever get to see him, up, you know, look him up. Probably my, uh, my last underrated DJ man is I, I got I'll probably get mad at me for saying it, but I want to say is, is D Styles, because um, like just no one understands like his thought process in the making music. If you listen to his, his album, Fast House Victoria, man, that's like a masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? And being able to work with him with the pickles and, and making up stuff for like what we did on, on the pickles album together. Man, just com just composition. He just taught me a lot about doing that, and you know, it's just hard enough for me to be on the team with Q and D at the same time. But like, people of course look uh, see Q as like you know, just the master of all you know of all that. But you know, the big brain behind a lot of the stuff we do with pickle stuff is D. So um, that's why I say, it's, you know, I would say more underrated because it's more like you guys gotta keep checking, you know because he's responsible for a lot of shit. Well, how these styles impact to me as a DJ is uh, when I make up my own stuff, like when I make up like, like juggles now, back then it was just like, if you made up a, 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 a pattern, then you just went to the next pattern and that was it. But if you listen to the way he scratches, that's like a song. That's like, you know, I'll come up with a real, you know, notable kind of like hook that everyone can be familiar with, but then he'll just go off on his solos, but come back to, that hook that you're that you're familiar with, you know what I mean? I think that's what gives um, the pickles that are, are sound a little bit more mature because, I mean, you know, we still do the bugged out shit as well, but I think especially for the masses that you know, being that we're we've been out of the game for a long time and coming back, we're pretty much introduced reintroducing ourselves to the masses. What we come out with is a lot of more like, you know, like if you've never heard turntables stuff before or just turntable orchestrated music, this is how what it is, you know what I mean? Like I said, D is responsible for a lot of that. Man, the way Qbert impacted me is just um, discipline, really. You know what I mean? Like, um, I only started hanging out with him back in the days because I know who he was. But I, you know, like I, he was just, he just was that. I was, you know, like, oh shit, it's Q. But to you know, over over time, to be him taking money under the under his wing and, uh, and part of the crew. Um, I just learned how to, how he how he works and, and how he how he practices. You know what I mean, like me and him would practice like on a, a 130 BPM beat for like a half an hour or like 20 minutes each, practicing that long just so we you know just so we get good at a certain pattern or a certain scratch that we can't, that he came up with. That I'm trying to learn too. I mean, you know, it's like almost if you see, you you feel like if you've seen every scratch or heard every scratch out there, Q always takes it up a notch and shows me and D some crazy shit that we've never even heard of. You know. But vice versa, those guys, like, like I said, I'm trying to catch up with those guys. I'm, I'm still old school to my heart. Like, I'm still on some Jazzy Jeff, Aladdin, Catch Money type scratches, you know what I mean? Uh, and hopefully I balance it out that way <laughs> when we do our solos. But like I said, it's just like, just to be able to keep up with them was like crazy. <laughs>